What's going on, YouTube? Ollie Dope checking in once again. Yes, sir. Basically, what this one is, um, I've been seeing a lot of uh, paper rips collages going on and paper rips online and paper rip collage this, paper rip transition that. And I was like, I definitely do paper rips. Like, I definitely do collages, so I, I'm not about to go out there paper rip. Like, all you do is take a piece of paper and use a blending mode for it. So pretty much what we're gonna do is, you in this vlog, pretty much you're gonna see me go to Michael's. I'm gonna go grab some paper. All right, so I'm outside of Michael's. As you can see, Arch and Crafts going inside to grab the green papers so we can do our own personal rips and tears for our scrap of collage. So follow me while we go inside Michael's and spend some money. All right, y'all, so I'm in the Michael's. I had to grab some friends for myself. This uh, Michael's is ghetto, so everything's not where it needs to be, but for the most part, we found what we needed. They didn't have any like paper stock with like some white um, filling in the paper. So we're just gonna have to buy a few places of this construction paper that I found on top of the airbrushes up here. So I'm just gonna grab a few sheets of these and we're gonna cut them up. Poster board, that's what it's called. It's called poster board. Two at 99 cent. I actually got three, but he only, he looked like he was a little slow. So he only charged me for two, but look, 99 cent, that shit cost $2. So today is actually the day we're actually gonna cut up our own um, paper rip collages. And that's what you're about to see me do right now. So, further ado, let's get going. Hey y'all, as you can see, I got my first piece of paper. So we're gonna do a few different ones. I'm gonna do uh, like light scratches and like directional cuts on this one for, for my overlays. I'm gonna use this one um, for, for rips, actual rips and edges. And then I'm gonna use this one for just my shapes, like circles, triangles, squares. Stuff like that. All right, so just fold this jump, and I just took the, the knife like that, and I just went like this. That. Boom. Okay. Let me just do it one more time. All right, YouTube. So we're checking in one more time. It's getting kind of late. I've been doing this all day. But, all right, so the last part of this is, well, it's not the last part, it's the third part. After you cut out everything, being creative, getting all your shapes, getting all your rips together, then you're gonna go and set it up on another scene, and you're gonna go try to take pictures of each individual one so you can be able to upload that to your website. Or you're gonna upload that to Photoshop, and then we're gonna meet in Photoshop after that. Okay, so we're opening Photoshop here and what you're gonna do is you wanna get it to a nice contrast between the background. Hopefully you chose a background that was opposite of the color paper you chose. You wanna try to desaturate it, make it black and white, and get as much details between the black and the paper rips so it's easier to use your blending modes when you're in Photoshop. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You save it as a PNG and use it as you may. I'm actually gonna do a follow-up tutorial to this too to show you how to use your paper rips to make and create your own scrapbook paper rip collage. In the case that you don't want to go out there and make your own or you don't have the time, these paper rips will be available for purchase in my online store, link in the bio. Always you guys, keep creating, keep hustling, keep learning. Like, subscribe, comment. Let's get it.